Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you uh, generate preview section or you can say the detail section before submitting the form. Uh, after submitting the form, you got an, a unique ID property, but uh, during the preview, uh, you are not uh, getting an ID property because uh, there is nothing to add entry in the database table. After adding the entry into the database table, you got an ID property, but uh, here you can check when we click on the preview, ID is not generated. Uh, so how to edit um, just after clicking on the preview or you can say when you have a preview, then how to uh, edit that form. So this is the thing you can uh, add into the form. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, Zender uh, is not uh, getting because in the view section of your uh, edit uh, actually select list is not bind with the enumeration so uh, before going to the details uh, must to add it uh, the edit section edit page of the view section and uh, bind that uh, select list with the enumeration list enum you can say so here is sender and uh, ASP items is getting from uh, enumerations. Jo. So HTML dot get enum select list and uh, okay and uh, in which you can pass the enumeration uh, name of the enumeration okay in the tag helper. Now after that you got an uh, gender also <coughs> but the main logic behind the whole thing is uh, a public property you can create uh, a public static property you have to add in the uh, class and during the session the, that public property will work so when uh, submitting the form or you can say uh, before submitting the form that preview house work okay so uh, looking like this when we click on the preview a preview section will generated when we click on the edit suppose if you uh, not want to submit the form then uh, automatically that form will filled up uh, in the edit page okay so there is now uh, what i do in that uh, case so simple you have to add a static uh, model type property that is the child registration form and that form initialize with the uh, create uh, in the preview section when we click on the preview button then uh, child registration form uh, got all the entries so that form uh, passed to the uh, public property of your model and that model property is a static type so in the during section in the edit form is also initialized with your uh, public uh, model property so you can uh, you can do all these things by using their uh, static type of model property in the class so this is the easy thing you can uh, add in the form before submitting any form a must to check uh, in the preview section that means of all entries are correct so this is the simple form you have to generate it on the client page and also you can done by the jquery also so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to sp.net core